Welcome back. The details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi met on Saturday with the head of the Armed Forces Financial Affairs Authority, Lieutenant General Ahmed Ishazli, the head of the National Service Projects Organization, General Walid Abu Magd, and the CEO of Egypt Steel Company, General Ahmed Al Kayel. Presidential spokesperson, Councillor Ahmed Fahmi, said the meeting followed up on the steel industry projects in light of the state's plan to develop the heavy industry system. The meeting also discussed efforts to localize industry, boosting competitiveness capabilities and eliminating all logistical obstacles, taking into account the pivotal role of steel industry in the current development process and in minimizing pressure on foreign currency while relying on local raw materials. Marking 80 years of diplomatic relations between the two, Egypt and Russia, Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri and his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov were keen on exchanging greeting letters, asserting deep and special relations between the two states. Here are more details. Egypt and Russia established their diplomatic relations on August 26, 1943, when Russia was part of the Soviet Union. During the past decades, the two countries enjoyed historic ties in all domains. And the headquarters of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs was lit up in the early hours of Saturday with the slogan Egypt 80 Russia in Arabic to celebrate the occasion. Also, the iconic TV and radio uh, Ostakino Tower in Moscow, once the world's tallest freestanding structure, was lit up in the colors of the flags of Russia and Egypt. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sameh Shukri and his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov exchanged letters of congratulations affirming the special and deep historical relations between the two countries. Shukri and Lavrov also stressed their determination to enhance cooperation in all fields and foster friendship between the two peoples. The Foreign Ministry highlighted that the 80th anniversary celebrations are extending throughout the year. They include a number of joint programs and activities that shed light on the diversity of historic Egyptian-Russian relations. These include documentary and TV programs and fairs displaying archival and documentary materials organized by the two countries' foreign ministries. They also include specialized cooperation projects in a number of fields. Egyptian-Russian cooperation has intensified over the past years in political and economic fields, particularly energy. In 2022, the volume of trade exchange between Egypt and Russia hit 4.7 billion US dollars, up by 16.2% from the previous year. In a meeting with President Abdel Fattah Sisi in St. Petersburg last month, Russian President Vladimir Putin said Egypt accounts for one third of Russia's trade exchange with Africa. Egypt and Russia are also cooperating to establish El Daba nuclear power plant in Motruh Governorate, as well as the Russian industrial zone in eastern Egypt. Russia is also one of the most important tourist markets to Egypt, up to 30,000 Russian tourists visiting Egypt every week. The armed forces announced the start of Bright Star 2023 military drill, which is due to start on August 31st and will continue for two weeks, with the participation of more than 8,000 combatants from 34 countries. Details. Ministry of Defense and Military Production announced on Saturday the details about Bright Star 2023 military drill, stressing that the exercises aim to strengthen military cooperation among participating countries, as well as boosting efforts to face common threats. Enhancing the strategic and security ties among involved armies, exchanging expertise and developing the combat techniques are also on top of the drill's goals. Bright Star first began in October 1980. Uh, the joint maneuvers were held in autumn every two years on Egyptian soil. The exercise begins with coalition interoperability training to teach nations how to operate with one another in a wartime environment, then continues with a command post exercise designed to help standardize the command and control procedures and then a large scale field training exercise to practice everything together. The Armed Forces General Command highlighted its keenness to implement the joint training, saying it's considered one of the largest and most important military exercises at the global level due to the size of the participating troops. The U.S. side, for its part, 
expressed its deep appreciation to the Egyptian armed forces, adding that the U.S. considers Egypt one of the most important strategic partners in the region. The last time the Bright Star exercise was held was in 2021. The 2018 exercise saw the participation of Navy personnel, air forces, and special forces.